Hey everybody, it's Dave here at Vinaka Urban Farm and I uh, just thought I'd show, shoot a quick video uh, to illustrate uh, the reason why my farm is the way that it is in a certain respect. Uh, you may have noticed that the beds that I grow my crops in are in raised, um, they're kind of raised beds. In Fiji they call them mbukes. It's, uh, it's where the paths are kind of dug a little bit lower than the beds themselves. And um, today is a good uh, time to illustrate just why that is. So I'll leave the protection of my greenhouse and go into the, the Ohio drizzle of mid-May and um, show you exactly why I've set up things the way that I've set them up. Um, so if you look, we've had a lot of rain today. This is extremely normal for Ohio in the spring. And if you look around the farm, um, you notice that down here near the patio area, here's the house back here, patio area, and the farm. Down here, close to me, the water is the highest. That's because this is downhill. This is the farthest downhill uh, of the whole property. Well, and excuse me, of just the backyard. And up there is uphill. And you may notice that all of the paths run uh, from uphill to downhill. And then we've got this little gap right down here, right next to the concrete, right? Just this little path. So these are like canals. They channel the water all the way from the top of the property to over here. And this corner right here is where it meets um, the base of the patio. Now underneath the patio, I know this because I built the patio, is a bunch of gravel, about a foot of, um, let's say quarter size or slightly larger than quarter size gravel, and it's there t for drainage. And I knew that when I was building the farm, so, uh, and I also knew that Ohio gets a ton of rain. We actually have more average cloud cover uh, per year than Seattle. Although uh, they get all the credit for having the crappy weather over there. Um, and it's especially bad in the rain. So I raised my beds uh, so that the water would, uh, our excess of water during um, the seasons where we have uh, a lot of wet, which is mostly in the spring and fall, uh, would drain off just the way it's doing today. So uh, when I look out in the field, it's a little bit depressing on days like this to see a whole bunch of standing water and see leaden gray skies and to not be able to go outside that much um, or to get really muddy when I do go outside but uh, when I see you know this the farm working exactly the way it's supposed to uh, it feels really good and it's something to consider uh, if you're building your gardens at home you can use raised beds if you're in a wet climate like me uh, a lot of people watching this I imagine are in Ohio too uh, and I definitely recommend raised beds uh, partly for drainage and partly for season extension because they, you know, it's a lot of other, partly because you have weed control and there's a lot of good reasons to use raised beds around here. Um, and you can do it either by building raised beds like this or if you don't want to invest in all those materials and extra topsoil and stuff, you can uh, invest a little sweat equity and dig out little trenches in between your rows and just make sure that they are um, running. Uh, downhill and that you've got a good drainage spot at the bottom of that hill uh, like we do here. So that's just a quick video to um, to explain something you might be curious about uh, why, which is why we have raised beds here at Vinaka Urban Farm. Uh, I'll be back with another video sometime uh, in the near future I imagine. So until then, salako!